so guys uh, I'm going to be taking you on uh, the RC simulator setup on how to use your FlySky receiver transmitter to be able to control your uh, simulator for this uh, video we are using the Picassin flight simulator as you can see so first what you need to do in order to get this done you need you'll be needing uh, a cable that has a that has this port as you can see and also has uh, the USB port at the other end so basically this uh, this cable most time comes with the transmitter so you insert this at the back of your transmitter like this as you can see you follow the port so after inserting it then uh, you connect the other end to your pc or your laptop sorry your desktop computer or your laptop so after that make sure uh, you set your transmitter on a new channel as you can see on a fresh channel so after doing that then you launch your uh, your flight simulator so as I said earlier for this particular video we are using the Picasso I will drop the link down below so you click on uh, settings let's uh, try to enlarge this stuff okay so after clicking on uh, settings then you go to joystick when you go to joystick then uh, you click on the advance advance then um, for this particular one for this particular one okay let me uh -huh. so let's go so now for this you have to set the uh, the joystick id after connecting it to your system you want to move this uh is it a scroller here you move it to uh, joystick id1 so then you click on enable joystick then uh, you scroll down you scroll down this is already set so let me just move it back to the normal position for the normal position you see uh, map to none so for you to confirm that your uh, controls are being received so you try to move the joystick around so you see the numbers moving right there so for this particular one now you know that uh, this is your aileron as you can see this is for aileron so you go to the over to this side and uh, move it to the roll that's the roll now you click on uh, when centered now right now our stick is in the middle the middle position so you click on that so it will try to get the um, calibration for that center point then you move over to the uh, is it press when left or down so for this particular one you are supposed to go left so by the time you move it to the left position then you have to click on that uh, that uh, icon right there so after clicking you also do the same to the right position you also click on that for that icon so you move downward and you try to check for your elevator as you can see which uh, one runs more faster and higher so as you can see that's the joystick uh, one input so we try to set that to our pitch that is our pitch stick as you can see you set it to your pitch stick 
then you do the same calibration but this one you leave the stick at the middle then you press centered then this one for this particular one now you are not pulling it to the left position you are taking it down downwards as you can see you are taking it downwards so when your stick is down then you click on this icon then when it's up you click on this icon so it will take record of that then i uh, move to the other uh, position so as you can see this is our throttle so that's the icon joystick impute tool so now you move it uh, you see you try to lo locate your uh, speed stick so here it is so now uh, press when centered so you move the stick upward like this then you click on center then you bring it downward just like this then you click uh, uh, on this icon also then you take it upward and you click on this icon so this is for the rudder coming okay okay this is for the rudder joystick input 5 so you also do the same you click when centered this is the center position you click that's the your stick as you can see okay okay mm, yeah. so uh this is our your stick right here so as you can see the input you can see the numbers changing right there so you try to leave it on the center position then you click you click on this icon right here when centered then you also move it to the left position like this then you click on this other icon right here this one then you move it to the right position also and you click on this particular uh, icon so that's all then you click on save then you for this particular one will be we'll just write uh let's see fly sky fly sky we'll save it with fly sky then come down to this icon also okay and that's it so you can go back and uh, try to test the whole setup all right as you can see they are responding to input this is our aileron this is our elevator then you can go ahead for the flight that's pretty much it guys so let's come for landing Nice. 